In this part of Mexico, there are indigenous families from southern Mexico, even Guatemala, and they come to this area looking for work. One of the first places they land is what's called a migrant camp. They're promised a place to live, they're promised a wage. These camps are often barns. No windows, tin roofs, tin walls, something that's hot as can be in the summertime and extremely cold in the wintertime. And these families are kind of forced into a little bit of indebted servitude. They get a place to live, if you call it that. They get some money, usually five to eight bucks a day of working, but the pay is so minimal, there's no way to get out of this cycle of poverty. And unfortunately, it's 1.3 to 1.5 million children. Kids that are as young as 10 or 11 years old are working six days a week, eight hours a day. They're foregoing an education and already at 10 or 11, their life path is already set up and it's gonna be a path of working the agricultural fields. But what I would love to see is that our food companies, the ones that bring the food in from Mexico and they sell them to our restaurants and they sell them to our grocery stores, if there could be a standard that says we will not accept food where children work. What we do at Prosperity Homes is we work with a lot of families who have been able to make the next step out of the migrant camp. They start paying for land and we come and that's when we can build them a home. We encourage their kids to get back into school, do anything we can to get them an education. It's a big problem, but what we're trying to do is just focus on one child, one family at a time.